nigga who got the block on smash. Stop asking, you know who got the flavor. What's up, y'all? Flavor TV. Look at that. Everybody's having a fit already. Because we have in the building. Nicki Minaj, what's up? You guys don't mind the fan? No, we don't mind the fan. That keep us cool because you're so hot. Oh. That was whack, wasn't it? Yeah. But, you know, we got to start it off like that. Yeah. You know, I want to loosen you up a little I mean, bit. okay. Cool. How you doing? How are you? I'm great. I'm great. First of all, fellas, if you ever want, does she look as good in person as she does on the videos? Better. Better. I just want to say. It's oh. better in 3D, baby. Oh. Thank you. You know, you see a lot of people in person, and it's like, that's not what they look like on the video. And uh, well, oh, you ain't never said that when you saw somebody in person. Well, I do always say the guys look really small in person. I'll be like, what? They be like, this short. Yeah, see, I'm not like that, though. Yeah, you, you tall. See, we got it like that. Man up. Man up. Nicki Minaj is hanging out doing big. You know what? It seems like, how long have you been trying to do this? Because, like, it seems like you just took over immediately like no I've been doing this for a very very long time I think like for the last seven years of my life I've really really been pursuing um, rap and um, even before that I was just pursuing entertainment in general and so like within the last three years it's really when I met Wayne and that's when things started to sizzle but didn't really get hot until like within the last six months it seems like everybody knows now so if I'd have told you, if we'd have met like two years ago and we was kicking it and I said, yo, you're going to be on top of the hip hop game, one of the hottest names out there, the biggest female by far in hip hop right now, what would you have told me? I would have said, really? Um, you know, I really wouldn't have believed all of these things would happen. You know, I, I always had faith and I always had wishful thinking. Like I always would say, oh, I'm going to do it, I'm going to make it and blah, blah, blah. But when it's actually happening, it kind of just all still feels surreal. So I don't know if I would have been able to predict this exact thing. Hey, it's going down. We're going to be back with more Flavor TV. Y'all hang on. Flavor TV, we are back, y'all. Nicki Minaj holding it down, Pink Friday, the album, the long awaited. You know how long we've been waiting for this album? You know, a couple months ago, I thought no one wanted this album. You know, I was like telling my label, no, I don't want to drop yet. No one cares right now. And now it seems like people are anticipating it. So yeah, pretty much, pretty much. This is uh, this is one of the most highly anticipated albums about to come out. All right. Why does it seem to be so hard for female MCs? Because, you know, it's been a void for a minute. It's been a void for a minute, and now you just took over and doing better than most of the dudes out there. Just, But why is it so hard for a female? I don't, I really don't know. I mean, people ask me that all the time, and I've been trying to think why it's as hard. Um, but, you know, I was thinking with female rappers, you have to have a lot of, um, you know, things that a male rapper doesn't have to have. Like a male rapper, you know, doesn't have to be cute. A male rapper doesn't have to be um, friendly. A male rapper doesn't have to smile. A male, it's, you know, a male rapper just does their thing and have, you know, lyrical content and people love them. You know, females are, are really, really scrutinized and the magnifying glass is always really put on a female you know, forget rapper, just females in general. And I think, um, you know, as a, as a woman, we've been just trying to get in the game and having people tell us it can't be done. And being that it's been so long since a female rapper sold records, the record company don't want to hear no female rapper right now. You know what I mean? So they've been turning their backs on women and really haven't been getting, giving us a shot. So, you know, shout out to all the girls out there trying to do their thing, but they can't do it by themselves. You right. know what I mean? They, they need people behind them. They need um, a crew of people. They need funding. At the end of the day, you could do anything you want, but if you don't really have money to back you, you know, these girls don't got 250000 to get some videos, you know, official video out and all that stuff. So it's like if the record companies don't open the doors, then we'll always have like a drought. Okay, there it is. She didn't crack the ice for you though right now. Pink Friday, what's your favorite cut on album? I got so many. There's one that I love. It was like the second song that I recorded for the album. It's called Here I Am. And it kind of makes you feel like this, like uh, like real woozy. And it's just talking about Here I Am. I was actually going to call it Letter to the Media because I wrote it to the media. Right. But I winded up just keeping it, you know, called Here I Am because that's what I'm saying on the song. But it was just it's just talking about like how the media portrays me and, um, you know, what I've had to kind of like just you know, battle, just trying to be who I am. Like, people are just like, uh, like, never really let up, you know, on me and kind of just wanted to see me fail. So, I think here I am. But I have, you know, it depends on what mood I'm in. Like, you know, I listen to the album every day, like, when I'm getting ready at the hotel, and I'm just, like, so, I'm, I'm still in a state of shock. Like, I can't even believe this is my album. 
Yo, Pink Friday. Matter of fact, don't go anywhere. We're about to get into her personal life right here on Flavor TV. Nicki Minaj. Y'all keep it right here. Don't be scared. All right, y'all, we back. Nicki Minaj holding it down on Flavor TV. You good? Mm -hmm. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. All right, when you first got put on, what was your, like, first major purchase? What you buy? Hmm. I think I bought a truck. A truck? What kind of truck? I want to know. What kind of truck? A range. Okay. She said it's, like, so cavalier. Oh, just a little range. Just spoke. Yeah, but it's been a lot. I mean, I'm not a really big spender. Okay, come on, I, I'm you not, know. I'm not. I see that the shoes, like, the 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 like the, the buy, piece. I like to buy stuff for other people. Actually, it's fun to shop for other people. August eighth. It's my birthday. I just, I just, you know, you said you like to buy just when it come around again. Just, you know, if you have a little extra something, you know. So eight, eight. I can't forget that. What do you want for your birthday? It's whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm easy. Do you like pink? I like some of my, one of my favorite things in the world is pink. It's real talk. All right, so. I'm just saying, let's, you asked. Let's move on. Okay, we're going to move on for right now. All right, so uh, Range Rover, first big thing. All right, um, if you could be, like, shipwrecked, if you had to be shipwrecked, mm -hmm. and there was one celebrity that could be there with you while you were shipwrecked, who would it be? Drake. Okay, okay. There's been a lot of rumors about you and Drake. Is that like big brother or is that little, like... Little brother. Little brother. That's little brother right there? Mm-hmm. Okay. But you know what? What I, While we hit it off, we hit it off before we even like popped because he's really easy for me to talk to. Um, like any anything in the world I can talk to him about. He's really, really smart. And so I always credit him with that. As a dude, it's hard to find guys that can just speak to you about anything. And that's kind of like how I, I began to be really, really good friends with him. Because we were like on tour and it was like a grueling schedule. And, I, you know, we hated every minute of it for a second. But we would just like talk all the time and be cracking up laughing at people on the low and um you know had inside jokes and all that stuff so it was always fun Nicki minaj doing it real big the album make sure you get it pink friday it's gonna be crazy we've been waiting for it don't make us wait so long i won't i'm gonna try to drop another album really 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 quick i'm my brain now is on you know album mode and, and producing songs so now i know what i have to do and i'm gonna do it more frequently I'm not gonna wait three years for an album Trust you can me. release it on august 8th that is could be this? a birthday you just I mean, release it you don't we, have to why is everything being really reverted back to august 8th i just well you know it's a but that could be your gift to me I, you don't have to send me anything just release your album on my birthday are you married yeah you have kids two okay I, what's your wife's sign she's a virgo and you're a leo uh -huh. I actually get along good with Leos, like Sagas and Leos. Yeah, yeah, that's a good look. So, um... She can come, too. Okay, we out of here next what? week. <laughs> I mean, I ain't discuss it with her, but I, you know. I'm, we out of here next week. Hey, go down on Flavor TV. Thanks for hanging out, all right? Thank you for having me, darling. Pink Friday, ho! Oh, sorry, did I say that? <laughs>